Your favorite fishing hole is a great way to escape reality, but for Jalen Puckett, it was a chance to survive. Dan Hawk with the story. We have all heard the fishing story. You know, where I caught a fish this big or this long. For Jalen Puckett, fishing was a way for him to be at peace. I've seen a lot of uh, gun violence, uh, a lot of drug deals, stuff like that. And uh, growing up, I just was like, man, it's not for me. I don't want to do it. So um, I was trying to find a, a way out. Puckett is from Vallejo, California, a city less than 50 minutes from Bay Area cities, Oakland and San Francisco. The San Francisco Chronicle reports this year alone, killings are up 14 percent. And Puckett's hometown is on track to have its worst murder year in the city's history. A sobering fact that hits home to Puckett, who tells me he's lost at least eight friends to violence. Uh, once you're in Vallejo, you're, you're stuck pretty much. You know, you're stuck in the, the gang violence. You're stuck in uh, stuff that you don't want to do, you know. Getting out of California to avoid gangs is only half of Puckett's story. Receiving help from his 11th grade teacher, Freddie Barris, to start his career path as an airplane mechanic just goes to show you that anything can happen if you put your mind to it. He just needed a little money. I was happy to, to make it available to him. And, you know, look what he's done with it. You know, best, best money I've ever invested in my life. With Vera's help, Puckett graduated from Spartan College of Aeronautics and Technology here in Tulsa. And he's immersed himself in green country, fishing hotspots that even include drain ditches and canals. Yeah, you can catch a fish anywhere. Ooh. The fishing out here is so much different. Um, I love it. We all know there's fish in there. Uh, you just got to be able to catch them uh, and stay focused. Ooh, that one. Fishing. That one. Surviving and achieving dreams, Jalen's journey is not just paying dividends on his own life, but also on others. Jalen's my hero. You know, what he's done is heroic. There's no other way to put it. You know, go, going from where his family situation, losing family members who were the only people that were really believing in him and, and not giving in to the pressure and still finding a way out. That's heroic. In Tulsa, Dan Hawk. Oh, yeah. Oklahoma's own News on 6.